Dear followers, we presented in the previous video some diagrams of UML. The goal of this video is to improve our competence to treat class diagrams. We can remember we have mostly in, in UML diagrams the form of the class it is a rectangle association it is a relationship between two classes the generalization inheritance it is a hollow triangle with a filled line a dependency it is dashed arrow realization it is a relationship between two abstract entities it is with hollow rectangle and dash line composition it is a filled diamond aggregation it is hollow diamond we will apply our example in the connected home we always try to have examples from one project it is connected home the connected home we said that before we have an apartment or a home dwelling there is some indoor parameters lighting temperature humidity etc we put many tools water meter electrical meter a module that we developed the red one that contains many sensors in order to measure many parameters in the same time and we have a small computer, Raspberry Pi, that can collect all this data, organize it inside, and send the data to the tablet in order to communicate with the users. This is the exercise. We specified the classes that we will use in our system. It is an exercise. The, the, the real we have more classes and more detailed classes and we know usually when with the detailed form of the class we have three fields the name of, of the class the name of the attributes and the name of the operations or, or methods here we use uh, the simple form of, a of the class it is merely a rectangle we have these classes bathroom room dwelling model building city dwelling module sensor physical parameter measured value and the question now try take your time stop the video and try to represent each sentence with the correct graphical representation the exercise is we should try to convert the sentences into a graphical relationships for example we have a sensor measures a physical parameter how we can convert it each measured value is attached to a physical parameter one module contains many sensors a module can be attached directly to a dwelling usually one or more modules are attached to each room a dwelling may contain several rooms of different types a bathroom is a room with additional equipments a dwelling can be an instance of a dwelling type take your time stop the video try to draw this relationship and try to communicate with your colleague in order to improve your understanding I want to say before realizing the exercise that when we make the design there is no deterministic decision so each designer may have different choices in order to um, imply to make his de his design and to imply his design so don't worry if you have different solutions what is important is to have a correct response there are many correct responses we will discuss some of them we will solve the exercise please take your time stop the video after that we will solve the exercise sentence by sentence
Hope you realize the exercise. Now we will start with the first sentence. One module contains many sensors. So we have a module, we have sensors, and we know. Now we will convert from human language sentences to graphics. We, sh we should well understand the meaning. We saw before that our module, electronic module, contains physically sensors. We cannot separate them from this module. So we have aggregation, we have composition, we have association, we have inheritance, dependency. Which relation is the best? Association? It is it is a strong relationship here. We, we cannot separate the sensor from the module. It, it, it is a part of the module. So, the best solution is composition. And the composition is a filled diamond. So, it is the correct answer. But there is something in the sentence. We say one module contains many sensors. So one module contains many sensors. We know that there are more than one sensor in one module. For this reason, we can add star here. Stars that, that mean many. We can put between zero and star. We can put between one and star, one, two point star. If you are sure from our answer, so sometimes we should clarify the sentences. We sh should ask some questions in order to improve the answer. Now, can we put something from the other side, from the side of the module? We don't know. From this sentence, we cannot know. We don't know if all the sensors are attached to one module. We don't know if a sensor may be exist separately. For this, this reason, we cannot if we don't know, we cannot say that sensors are related to one module. If we put one from the side of module, that means each sensor should be attached to a module. And we don't know about that. The second sen sentence, a sensor, a sensor measures a physical parameter. There is some relationship between a sensor and a physical parameter about the temperature, the environment, about the water consumption. Is the physical parameter and the sensor are from the same system? One is from the natural system, the other is from the artificial system. No, what from this sentence, we know that a sensor measures. We don't know more than that. So it, it could not be a composition, neither an aggregation, it may be dependency or association. Usually, most of the relationships are associations between, uh, between classes. The best representation, it is measures. A sensor measures a physical parameter. And if we want to add a number, we can also add here an, a, a number. Because we say a sensor, that means one sensor, measure one physical parameter. He, it cannot measure two parameters. If we put one from the side of physical parameter, that means one sensor measure one physical one. It is correct. But if we put one from the side of sensor, it is not correct. That means physical parameter is measured by only one sensors and perhaps we put different sensors different temperature sensors in order to measure the temperature perhaps we use different types one type is attached to this module another type is attached to another type of modules or directly to the raspberry pi etc the third sentence each measured value is attached to a physical parameter so Usually, we, we have measured value, and what we do, we each measured value, 
from the indoor environment is attached to a physical parameter to lighting to temperature to humidity luminosity to water consumption electrical consumption etc so each each value we have a lot of values and each value is related to a physical parameter we can represent this relationship also by a composition this is a merely, merely an example but in reality the real life most of time the measured value will be an attribute inside the physical parameter or inside the sensor so in the real representation of the systems we use attributes also to because a measured value it is not, not an independent class it may be an attribute for the physical parameter or in the sensor so always in the sensors we have measured parameter measured values the third the fourth sentence a dwelling can be an instance of a dwelling type so we have a dwelling and we have a dwelling type so it may be a house it be may be an apartment etc we notice here that we have we have two classes one dwelling model and the other is merely dwelling but one of them is a realization of the other they are inheritance or realization but in the inheritance there is a subtype but here it is a realization as we, we talked about central unit and when we talked about centering and Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi, it is a ras uh, realization. So, we can say that, it, what is the difference between the two representation? It is the dashed line. This is a realization. So dwelling is a realization of a dwelling model. We didn't add more. A module can be attached directly to a dwelling. A module can be attached directly to a dwelling. So we can put the sensor or the module not only in the rooms, but we can put it, for example, on the water meter to, consume, to measure the, the, the water. We can use a module in order to measure a global parameter in the home. For example, a water or consumption or electrical consumption so we can attach it to a dwelling how we can represent that is, is it inheritance it is not inheritance is it generalization no is it association we can say that it is association we can say that module measures the temperature or evaluate or capture the state of the dwelling but if we think that we will paste the module and we'll, we, we, the relationship will be stronger than association, we can also use aggregation because we can put this module, it will, it will be specific for the apartment or for the home, for the house, and perhaps one year later we can take this module and put it other way but all what he is doing but all what it is doing it is for the dwelling it, it is a part of the dwelling so we can use aggregation and aggregation as you know it is a hollow diamond and aggregation as you know it is a hollow diamond but we can also as i said we can use association as when we as the relation between the sensor and the physical parameter we can make the same relationship between a module and a dwelling a dwelling may contain several rooms of different types so a dwelling contains several rooms and rooms are parts of the dwelling so the relationship it is either composition or aggregation 
but usually we don't separate rooms from dwelling it is a fixed relationship so it is composition and to, to represent the composition we use a filled diamond this is a good reset and we say if we want to use the numbers because we said more a dwelling may contain several rooms also we can say one two star if we know more about system if we know that our system at least there is two or three parts in which we will put modules we can specify more the number of the rooms if we don't know the numbers the exact numbers it is not necessary to use the multiplicity in order to fix these numbers usually one or more modules are attached to each room so it is the same thing the same relationship between module and dwelling it is the same with between module and a room but now we will put the module not in the common part of the dwelling but in, we will put it in one piece of the house it is the best representation because also we can move the module also here we can use association we can say that we can we use one or more so we put one two point star if the maximum number is 10 we can put 10 etc a bathroom is a room with additional equipment so here we know that a bathroom it is a room but it is a subtype of room because we add other things we add we add other attributes other methods so in our system regarding our system it is important so perhaps we will put a meter to measure the hot water in the bathroom we will use the inheritance because the bathroom it is a room in which we can put a module but we can put another type of sensor like the electrical meter or hot water meter etc hope hope you understand the example hope you made it put your question in the comments and i will answer later